Hey guys, it is Wednesday, November 18th. The time is 4.50 p.m. And the temperature outside is around zero degrees Celsius. I'm here at Dundas West Station, which is on line two. And this is a look around the streetcar and bus bays here at the station. And the plan for this walk is to head outside to Dundas Street West. And from there, I'll walk south through Roncesvalles Village. Now currently walking south along Dundas Street West. And just up ahead here is the intersection of Dundas and Bloor Street West. So look to the west down Bloor Street. A few blocks to the south of here, if you continue on going straight, Dundas Street West will become Roncesvilles. And Dundas itself veers off to the left where once again it will run east to west. And it'll stay that way through downtown. For this section of Dundas it does go north to south. And that'll sort of bend up around the Junction neighborhood to the north, where eventually, somewhere around Etobicoke, it'll turn south again. Roncesvalles Village, which is where I'm heading, is bound loosely by Bloor Street to the north, where I just came from. So I guess that means, technically, this is part of Roncesvilles. And Queen Street and the Queensway to the south. Over to the west, it's bound by High Park. And I've seen a few different maps that define it a little differently to the east of here, but it does go for at least a few blocks to the east of Roncesvilles Avenue. The last time I recorded a video down here, I think was in April. And that was of the non-narrated variety. I have recorded narrated bike rides through this neighborhood before though. And I've also live streamed through here. 
So what I'll do is I'll turn left here and stay on Dundas Street just for a few blocks and head over to Howard, Howard Park Avenue, I think it's called. And I'll take that back over to Roncesvilles Avenue. So right here is where Dundas Street turns east and to the south of here is the start of Roncesvilles Avenue. This looks like an excessively long light, considering there's very little in the way of southbound traffic. I easily could have jaywalked this by now. In fact, let's do it. Technically, I'm not sure if that's considered jaywalking if you do it against the light. But either way, the coast was clear and the light still hasn't changed. So if you were to continue east along Dundas here, You'll find yourself in the Little Portugal neighborhood once you get past the railway tracks. And for much of the summer, this portion of Dundas was actually closed. There was some relatively extensive street work being done. I remember live streaming through here one night and the entire street was closed to traffic. This is Ritchie Avenue, so you could turn right here and take this over to Roncesvilles Avenue. You might hear some people call it Roncesvalle. They won't pronounce the S. I don't think there is an official pronunciation of the word. Sometime last year, I remember Googling it and coming across a YouTube video where someone interviewed a lot of the locals and there seems to be no consensus on how to pronounce it. I've always said Roncesvilles, so that's how I will continue to do so. There's a look inside the beer store. This is one of the older style stores where you order at the front and they go and get it and bring it to you. And there is Bandit Brewery. Normally in the summers that patio is rather packed. I've been there a number of times. But currently they can't serve dine-in customers. 
And apparently on Friday, the province might be announcing further restrictions. Doug Ford, the premier, kind of hinted at that. It's possible they'll put an end to outdoor dining. which would certainly be a death sentence to a number of small businesses, even more so than what we've been enduring. A lot of these businesses probably had their rainy day money saved up and they've burned through all of that. And here we are at the end of the year, still dealing with this lockdown nonsense. I don't really know what the answer is, but it certainly sucks if you're trying to operate a business. So this is Howard Park Avenue. And I think this is where the Carlton Streetcar heads over to the High Park Loop. So I'm currently walking west right now. I imagine it might be completely dark by the time I get to the end of this walk. There's a look at the moon. Looks like there's a lot of vacant retail spaces in this new building here. So this should be Roncesvilles Avenue. I'm approaching, I can't quite read the sign from here. But I'll be turning south onto that. And this neighborhood is known for its rather prominent Polish community. In fact, every September, it is home to North America's largest Polish festival, although this year was an exception, of course. There's the 504A King Street streetcar. There are a lot of Polish and Eastern European based shops in this neighborhood. And I forgot to mention it, but that over there is the Review Cinema. I walked right by it. Maybe I can zoom in on it.
if I can recall, that was opened in 1911 and it briefly closed down in 2006. And thanks to a lot of community support, they were able to reopen it in 2007. And I think it's operated by a nonprofit group right now. It's certainly a lot quieter than I'm used to seeing it here. cannabis store coming soon. That's one type of business that certainly popped up all over the city. Let's take a quick tour of some of the residential homes in this area. I'm just going to head west for a block and I'll loop back to Roncesvilles Avenue. This street here is Grenadier, which I think would be named after Grenadier Pond at High Park, which is just to the west of here. That's kind of a neat sign on this house. Looks kind of more like a business. And it's for sale. I would assume a lot of this housing stock dates back to somewhere around the 1920s. And this will be a good test of the uh, Pocket 2's low light abilities as there's not a whole lot of street light right now, nor is there much in the way of natural light. So hopefully this part doesn't look too dark. If you do want to skip ahead to where I get back to Ronsonsville's Avenue, there will be timestamps in the description. There's definitely some neat homes in this area. And a lot of laneways such as this that the homes back onto. You know what, let's... Let's take the laneway to the next street.
that's a really red light on the side of that house. Okay, and now it's heading east back to Roncesvilles Avenue. Then from there, I'll just stay on Roncesvilles and go south all the way down to Queen Street on the southern end of Roncesvilles. There's some overlap with the neighborhood of Parkdale. If you're ever curious as to what the boundaries of any of these Toronto neighborhoods I explore are, you could just go into Google Maps and pop in the neighborhood name and it'll typically give you an outline and highlight the neighborhood you searched for. That's kind of handy. So that was Jeffrey Street. Let's look north on Roncesvilles, back up towards Dundas West Station. So now I'm currently heading south on the west side of Roncesvilles. It's always funny, the snippets of conversation you overhear. And this is the St. Vincent de Paul Church, I think. Let's see if the sign confirms that. Roman Catholic Church. It's got a rather grand design to it. I think I saw 1955 scribbled onto the building somewhere there. And you might notice there are these temporary cycling, well not temporary, but these bump outs in between the sidewalk and the street for cyclists. But they're not a particularly popular design. Cyclists often complain about people waiting for the streetcar just standing right on top of it rather than off to the side which is how they're intended 
I've certainly encountered that a number of times while riding my bike through here. Boner land. I thought it said boner land for a second. There's a rather neat mural I always stop to look at whenever I'm in this area. And that is on Wright Avenue, in case you're interested. And across the street there is the High Park Library Branch, and that's one of the city's older libraries. That one goes back to 1916. The city has a rather nice collection of older libraries and fire halls. There's a Polish credit union. I don't know how I've never noticed that place here before. the sidewalk patio setups have disappeared in the city, well most of them. Which really makes things difficult for restaurants to survive. Good job. Why yield to pedestrians when you can just go right through them? And I think this building here is an old theater. Yeah. It's now occupied by a variety store. And that's at Galley Avenue. Just turn around and take a look.
So this is where the Parkdale neighborhood starts to bleed into Roncesvilles. Although Roncesvilles Avenue would be considered the western border of Parkdale. There's an October. There's not too many of those around. You used to see a lot of Octobers and Max Milks and Beckers in the city. These days, not so much. And once I get to uh, Queen Street here, I'll end this video. And I'm going to film a video through Parkdale. I'll be walking east. And that will go along Queen Street West through Parkdale and Little Tibet. And that video will be an exclusive for Patreon and channel members who have at least a silver tier membership. What I do is I put that as a private video and share it with those members on the Johnny Stumbles channel. And then after 30 days, I unlock it and it becomes available to everyone. So if that's something you're interested in, you can head over to that channel and subscribe. And in about a month from now, you'll be able to see that video. I do post other content to that channel. And I do live stream from there once in a while. It seems as if, no matter what I do these days, all my videos tend to end up around the 40 minute mark. And this one will be no exception. Maybe that's the sweet spot. Or it's just dumb luck how that's all turning out. There's a streetcar facility in there, and just past that is St. Joe's Hospital. And we have made it down to Queen Street. On the left here is Queen Street West and on the right side it's known as the Queensway and that'll head all the way across Toronto and through Etobicoke. And if you were to continue south this will turn into King Street and that'll turn left which is east and run parallel to Queen Street West. There's a look to the east along Queen Street. So this is the Parkdale neighborhood. And on that note, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this 
Wednesday evening stroll around Roncesvilles Village. There are links to my Instagram and Patreon in the description if you wish to support the channel. You can also check out channel memberships on the main uh, YouTube page. Thanks again guys and I will catch you on the next one.